you know, when someone chooses to call you family, you treat them like family. And so, Jerry, thank you for being my family. Doing the work of organizing for crime survivors for safety and justice is really about organizing hearts because uh, this work is all relational. Every hug, every text, every call, every minute. That's how you organize hearts. Our goal in the next couple months is to build four or five survivor chapters in the state. I'm trying to embolden our survivors to one, uplift their voices, to two, be unafraid to encourage other people to use their voices, and three, to understand the framework of Crime Survivors for Safety and Justice. And so a personal goal of mine is to really highlight all the healing services that are available community by community. We want them to know where they can go and get free yoga, where they can go and get Reiki, Reiki and find other ways of healing that are not just going to a doctor's office or going to a therapist. Yeah. Give them extra tools. We are building a movement of survivors that's unprecedented because survivors are now gaining a voice where that hasn't happened mm -hmm. before.